Welcome to the SFIs. We have an action-packed episode lined up for you today. Winchester's coming back. Kang Dynasty still on the rise. Ted, the TV series. Stranger Things. Gone. At the very end, we're going to discuss, is it a Christmas movie? Stay tuned. Gentlemen, let's, let's talk, talk about, about it. it. Supernatural season sixteen. What the, the, what, what, what the uh, hell? <laughs> well, personally, I feel like they're just reaching for straws at this time, at this moment. How many years has it been since Supernatural ended, technically? It's been a couple years, mm-hmm. about two, maybe three. Yeah, about three, four mm-hmm. years, maybe. And yeah, like you said, guns are kind of reaching for straws. I think they kind of did it with the Winchesters, kind of trying to do it like a before the Supernatural story kind mm-hmm. of thing. Didn't really seem to work out. It's already canceled after I think the first or second first season. season, if I'm not mistaken. Damn. First season, yeah. It did what, not. I, uh, I do well. Yeah. No, it didn't. See, not. so was Walker Independence. Uh, that was canceled. That was uh, something that was um, Sam uh, Padalecki was producing, I believe. That didn't do well. Okay, because I was about to say, what what has Padalecki been doing? I know Jensen Ankles was in The Boys. Yeah, Jensen. He was, he was <laughs> my bad. Voice. My bad. Jensen. Yeah, he's he's been busy. He's been doing stuff. Jensen. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the, like you said, he yeah. should, he did the boys, which is probably the most notable thing. Most recent mm-hmm. thing, I think. I, I know he's been doing some voiceovers, some voice work, some for some animated stuff. I'm Batman. He's been working. He's been putting in time on mm-hmm. that clock. But as far as a season sixteen for Supernatural, I don't know, man. I feel like they finish it off pretty well. There's no coming back from it. I'm sorry, guys. It's done. <laughs> mm-hmm. I I think you should just let it die. Right. Maybe he comes back with with his superpowers from the boys. And you might want to gargle my ball sack. Uh, uh, <laughs> no. Well, okay. Well, there's been 15 seasons. Like they have done a lot in that show. Like a lot. They've come mm-hmm. back in multiple ways. I mean, I'm sure they can find a way. they the writers for that show are pretty clever. Maybe like time travel or something. I don't, I don't know, man. I, I'm sure they could do it, but I, I honestly don't know if I want them to. Like, right. it, it's it's a good series. It's a great series, and I know you guys turned me on to it. I thought it was ridiculous at first, but I, I once I started watching and pay attention, like it's like, man, these are some good characters. I like their dynamics. I like the way that everything is set up, and it, it was just a really damn good show. But man, like. I feel like they could have ended the series halfway in, like, like maybe season yes. six, six, season seven. Actually, fun fact, the season where they stopped the apocalypse mm-hmm. was supposed to be the final season. And then the he, I want to say Eric Kripke is his name, the, the creator mm-hmm. or whatever. He wanted to end it there, but then somebody else picked it up and they're like, no, I'll keep it right. <laughs> <WB. clears throat> and that... <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> basically, yeah, and that and that's kind of how it kept going, and it was supposed to end there with them stopping the apocalypse, mm. and being the heroes of the story, Sam taking one for the team and jumping into the pit. Yeah. But yeah, they they kept it going, and after that, I feel like they had a couple good seasons. It wasn't the best. Yeah, that one where Sam came back but, immediately after. I I really hated that one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, probably my least favorite season. Yeah. Well, I think they're just uh, okay because it, it was a really successful show, mm-hmm. and they're like, "Nah, let's get that green while it's still hot." Right. One hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta strike the iron wire while it's hot. Like I said, it has a lot of ups. It has a lot of downs. I think more downs than I care to really mm-hmm. count. I don't know. I think they need to cut it. You know, <laughs> just let it go. Cut their losses. Yeah. I mean, okay, but let, let's say realistically though. If they okay. announced it, they said, we're coming back. Season 16. Is there any mm-hmm. sense of excitement at all? Not really. Excitement uh-huh. for me? No. Wow. Well, for me personally, like yeah. I didn't even, like go all the way through because I had things going on. And I kind of just fell off around like season 9 or 10, I think. Mm. Okay. So well, I you got stationed and stuff. so Yeah, yeah that, that, that's what yeah. I meant, really. Yeah. Like, I, was, I was busy with stuff. Hmm. Like, is it going to stop me from watching just to see what happens, how they come back? I'm probably going to give a a quick one or two episodes. I don't know that it'll keep my interest, though. Yeah. I I honestly, like, 
I think I'd be interested just because, like I said, I, I like those characters. I like their, their dynamics and everything. I'd be curious to see what they do. But, geez, that, there's still a part of me that's like, man, the ending was pretty damn good. I liked it. I liked the way it ended. Yeah. And I, yeah. it's kind of like like you know, something so so good, you just don't want to mess with the ending. You don't want to ruin it. It's like, mm-hmm. how, they, in my opinion, they ended on a high note, and I would like for it to stay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That I, know. I think honestly they ended it the only way that it could mm-hmm. end like there was no other way for it to end yeah well you know what else is ending unfortunately Uh-oh. stranger things <laughs> maybe I mean not confirmed, maybe. <laughs> not confirmed. Well, I, I, I'm gonna call it right now I've been calling for I don't know how long but I guess uh, I've been saying that the kids they're, they're way too old they're not mm-hmm. like 16 anymore, like they're supposed to be or whatever. Right. They're late teens, early 20s. They're getting up there, man. Now, yeah, keep in December. mind, so they're they're this mm-hmm. old. And at the end of season four, they're supposed to be in ninth grade. And mm-hmm. when the whole little town starts getting messed up by the yeah. bad guy, it's, I think, the fifth season is supposed to pick up right where that right. leaves off. They're already hitting their 20s. Mm-hmm. And they're supposed to be in ninth grade, potentially maybe going to tenth. Mm. Like, dude, by the time they come back, they're gonna have full <laughs> beards. They're gonna be like. I think the kid from Ghostbusters already had after shadow, right? Five o'clock shadow. Maybe. I don't I mean, know. I mean, still, I mean, you just shave them down. You, you good. But you, you have a point though. They are aging rapidly, and but. But to be fair, though, it's not like it was Netflix's fault. I mean, we had a pandemic that happened. We had an actor strike. We had a writer strike. Just so many things got pushed back. Not just Stranger Things. Right. Just so many things were were going wrong. It's not Netflix's yeah. fault necessarily. But I, I can see what these kids are saying as well. Like they're ready to move on to other stuff. They want to work on other projects. And mm-hmm. yeah, it's it's. I would like personally. I would like for them to. Stay on. Finish the series. I gotta see what happens. Yeah, I want to see what happens. <laughs> it's yeah, it's a good know. series. It's a good show. Was mm. the boss's name Vecna or something like that? Mm. Yeah, Vecna, I think. Yeah, even though they're getting older, I would like to see it end. And you know that if they were to cancel it, they're not going to finish it in any other form like uh, CG or uh, an animated. Although there is an animated series coming. Mm-hmm. But they're not going to work season five the ending as any other form of media they're not going to do it man uh, and that's that's the sad part like bro if this ends like just Mm -hmm. like that that's gonna suck yeah well well personally i feel like for me only uh speaking for myself Mm -hmm. i I think there's been enough time passed already like what was like a year year and a half already no since the last the last season finished on netflix Mm -hmm. i feel like I'm cool. Like, I, yeah, I would love to watch it and see what happens next. But if it doesn't happen, like, I wouldn't be hurt. You know? Really? Hmm. Yeah, I think there's been enough gap in between already where I, I wouldn't be bothered. Like, you're removed from it. Yeah. I but, see. Yeah, but, like, like it, if it starts again, yeah, I'm going to watch it. You know, got to gotta finish it. Mm-hmm. I do like how they're not just, like, money-hungry kids. They are trying to, I guess, perfect their craft, trying to take other roles and things. And I get how this is potentially holding them back from doing that. Which, you know, like you said, I get why they're doing it, why they're saying this. It sucks, but it's the truth. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And these, and like, again, like these kids, they are, they probably just don't want to be known as the Stranger Kids or the mm-hmm. Stranger Things kids. I'm sure Stranger they want yeah. kids. <laughs> <laughs> they want to grow in, in their careers. What's his name? Not Will, but the yeah. other kid. You know, he's doing Ghostbusters. Uh, he's doing. Mm-hmm. He's he's already. He's been out there. And it's kind of. I think that's kind of what Jenna Ortega was trying to do too. Like she's not trying to get stuck as Wednesday mm-hmm. Adams. She's trying to get out there, do other roles and things of that sort. Right, right. Cool. Well, anyways, uh, Stranger Things. I hope it happens. If it doesn't, I mean, I, I guess it's understandable. But mm. don't don't quit, kids. I'd like. To don't see quit, this kids. Don't, not yet. Not yet. Give it another year. That's like asking Tobey Maguire to stay as the teenage Spider-Man. Yeah. 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 It's just not. It's just not gonna happen. You want it? Yeah. I was gonna say. I, I was gonna say you can't really call them kids anymore. 
I can. I'm twice their age. <laughs> their sure, kids, you're, me. You're, you're twice. Young you're adults. Twice, kids. Everybody's age. They're, your mama. <laughs> <laughs> These kids are still young enough to be sleeping with teddy bears. Just like uh, what? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> That was horrible. Ed. Just like John from from Ted, Ted series. The set of set movies, of movies. Yes. yes. Uh yeah, yeah. Apparently, gentlemen, if you were unaware, there is a Ted series on the way. Mm. They just dropped a trailer and um I'm very curious. It's a prequel to the movies. Okay. Fun of Guns. You, okay. I know you've only seen the the first film. Yeah. So, you which could. was which, which was good. I liked the first mm. one. It's got that Family Guy humor, a, a, a little yeah. <laughs> very adult themed, very raunchy, raunchy, very raunchy. Yes, which yeah, is he's, he's right so old, up. He's right. getting Alzheimer's. He can't Your remember mom. the words anymore. It's, it's very randy. I make you randy. Yeah. You know what I mean? It was. <laughs> it's right up my alley. My kind of humor. So let's check this out and see what you guys think. Do it. All right. A few moments later. All right. Looks like... Uh, it, it looks pretty funny. So that's coming down on Guns' favorite streaming service. Which one was it? Which Amazon? one? Oh, oh. Your favorite. Uh, oh, oh. You, you mean, you mean uh, K's favorite. Uh, uh, uh. No, dude, it's no. yours. The Peacock. I don't, I don't yeah, even got Peacock, yeah. bro. It, it's your favorite. If you didn't call from the last episode. <laughs> it's your favorite. So it's coming out in January. <laughs> Horrible. Coming out in January, and what do you guys think? Uh, it looks freaking hilarious. Like it has the same humor from the movie, at least the yeah. first one. I haven't seen the second one. Yeah, still has that Family Guy fum- yeah. humor. I was gonna say humor. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, it looks good. It does. I like it. It looks fun. It looks good. Even the CGI dude, like, it didn't look that bad. Mm-hmm. I, yeah, for yeah, a TV yeah. show, yeah, I'm pretty good. It, I know there's not like big budget Marvel, but but it looked good. Mm-hmm. Okay. But you can't say that because big budget Marvel did She Hulk and She Hulk was mm. atrocious. All right, I guess you're right. You got that. <laughs> you're right. But guess what? Yeah. Still better than Flash. Oh, <laughs> terrible. So he dumb. ain't wrong though. He ain't wrong. Yeah. Leave us alone. Ted. Um, January 11. Speaking about Marvel, uh oh. With these horrible graphics oh it is said down the grapevine that the writer of loki is going to be writing secret wars and which one kang dynasty kang Kang dynasty Dynasty. yeah that's right that means that marvel is officially locking in jonathan majors they're gonna they're not gonna let him go he is staying and yeah they're continuing mm -hmm. with him which low, and it is gonna be Jonathan Majors, yep, right? Low, low, low key, I'm kind of sad though. I, I kind of wanted Doctor Doom. <laughs> <laughs> did you say low key? <laughs> <laughs> I see what you did there. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I'm, I agree. Doctor Doom would have been awesome to have, but they do have so much built towards Kang already. Yeah, it, it's kind of it would kind of be a waste, like of a whole phase, all that build up for to just let him go and. I do have to say, I, I give it up to, to Disney and Marvel for hanging in there, waiting to see. Sticking mm-hmm. to their guns. They, they kind of learned their lesson with the whole Johnny Depp situation. and yeah. Or at least Disney did. And, um, you know, yeah. so, so good on them. I, I guess that they are probably paying attention to what's happening in court. And they're like, oh, Jonathan Major, he's got this in the bag. He's good. Let's keep him on board. I mean, something. Next thing, next thing you know, something's wrong going to happen, and oh, no, he's out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, man. That, that, we'll be eating our words. <laughs> then bring in another variant. Oh, man. But, okay. But, I mean, that happened with Drew Miller, and they still pushed his movie. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, it didn't do very good, partially because, I mean, Cause CGI. Because everyone knew. story was yeah, CGI. Mm. But, I mean, there were people that did boycott the mm-hmm. movie. Just because of who he was. Yeah, and you know what? That's a good point. I wonder how that's going to affect this film. If nothing is resolved by the time that Secret Wars and Kang Dynasty come out, if this Mm -hmm. court issue hasn't been resolved, will that affect the box office? I don't think it would affect it as much as if it were resolved and it turned out that he was 
that he, he wasn't yeah, that abuser. He was guilty, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why it went right over my head. Like, I, I couldn't think of it. Yeah, if it turned out that he was guilty and they still pushed his mm-hmm. movie out, I think it would have more drastic yeah. effects on the movie's I performance. But if nothing is resolved and he's still kind of in that purgatory, like, where is he guilty, is mm-hmm. he not, I don't think it's going to have as much of an effect on it. Nah. I kind of feel like it would be like a 50-50. Like, there's people in our comments, whenever we talk about Jonathan Majors, they're like, oh, he's innocent, he's innocent. And there's other people, oh, he's guilty, he's guilty. And it's like, it's pretty split down the middle, it seems to me. Like, uh, I, I can't speak for you two guys, but like, my personal opinion, I mean, he's innocent until proven guilty. Yep. And if it does turn out that he's guilty, well, then prosecute him. Let, that, us, that, let him sit in jail. I'm not, man. you know, defending the guy. I'm just, he's innocent until proven guilty. Look. Yeah. Somebody must have had a phone if it actually went down. Somebody must have been recording if it actually went down, if he actually beat her. Mm. That video would have popped up already by this time. You know how it is with them famous people. Yeah. Well, uh, they're, well. Again, I'm not the judge and jury, but supposedly uh, there is evidence out there, video evidence, pretty much I think it's solid evidence that kind of places him somewhere else mm-hmm. where it supposedly you know, everything went down. So it just mm-hmm. they, they just have to go through the system, go through the court system. Go, they have to do all that and let it play out. Mm-hmm. So we're, it's just a waiting game. But uh, again, I got to say good on Disney, good on Marvel. For them for at least waiting it out this time um you know they are confident enough to move forward with jonathan majors as king so yeah, yeah. so sorry guns dr doom it ain't gonna happen gender swap and have mrs doom already <laughs> <laughs> sorry sorry evil ash it's uh you know pedro pascal so i'm getting consigned on as doom so it's not. It's not happening this time around. It's just at least not around. yet. I mean, there, there's no for sure thing that they might not do Doctor Doom later in the, in oh, the series. Oh, oh, what, what? oh, hello, Kevin. Dog. No, no, man. No, we'll we'll talk later. I gotta go. Bye. Sorry, y'all. Sorry, got. Uh, my bad. How my bad. Unprofessional. unprofessional. I'm sorry. Taking personal I'm... calls on the. Oh, give, give me a sec. Oh, Jesus. Now he's calling me. Oh, Give me a second. He's so needy. Me God, he's clingy sometimes. No, um, that's not a good time. Jeez. No. I'll have to call you back. Is he trying? Is he All telling right. you about Pedro and, and Dr. Doom? Sorry. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, no, me. that, that's all. You know, oh, oh, Jesus. Yeah, just, Damn, dude. He, 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 he knows just, we're recording, man. Uh, I, I don't know how he gets our schedule. I don't, I don't. He's I trying don't. to get our. Oh, jeez. Do you want to help underprivileged bald men whose hair has fallen one by one? If you subscribe today, a hair will grow back on CK's head. For every click, click, for every like, for every follow, Mm -hmm. you can make a difference on that bald shiny head. Subscribe now. Please, if you don't want my brother B to start looking like CK over there, Please subscribe. He's heading that way. With every subscribe, you can get a follicle on that balding head of his. Bing. Do us all a favor. Subscribe. Let's get ready to rumble. Welcome to the Gun Range, where we will be master debating. Yeah, we are. With each other. Mm. (laughs) Back to back only, bro. Brian! I'm ready! (laughs) What are we... You you do his voice again, What are we master debating to this time? The Nightmare before christmas Mm. is it a christmas movie or not Mm. okay okay let's see opening statement i think the nightmare before christmas even though the word christmas is in the title i think it's a halloween movie it's we Mm. start here in this house this household 
my wife loves that movie, right? We watched that mm-hmm. during October because the skeleton, the, the okay. main character is a skeleton. Uh, his world mm-hmm. is Halloween Town. This is Halloween. This is Halloween. Uh, everything that they okay. do is Halloween related. Even when Jack is out there being Santa Claus, he's gifting like voodoo shrunken heads. He's gifting snakes and you know traps and all these things that are not traditionally Christmas. I, I think this okay. is a Halloween movie. It is not a Christmas movie. Well, mm. I 100% agree with you. It is a Halloween movie. But in Jack's defense, he does not know how Christmas works. Mm-hmm. He is only passing around what he thinks makes everybody else happy because that Halloween stuff makes him happy. Okay. Okay, I can see what she's saying. So I'm going to go ahead and say, to me, it kind of goes both ways. You could be either a yeah. Christmas movie Cause or a ways. Halloween movie. Giggity. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, because yeah, one of my main points was going to be yeah, in his mind he's try- he's making people happy, giving out things that makes him and his fellow people mm. of Halloween Town happy. Part of the movie does take place in their Christmas yeah. town or whatever they call it, and it's it's on Christmas night. He's mm. being Santa Claus. He's going out. He's giving gifts, and it's up to him to try to save. Christmas by going saving Santa Claus and letting him go out and do an actual Christmas. He starts off almost destroying mm. Christmas, but he ends up saving it in a way. But he destroys it in a Halloween kind of way. Uh. Yes, on accident. <laughs> hey. It's like if your wife was oh. baking a pie. So don't get and <laughs> he, he, he start thinking about all <laughs> If your wife was baking a pie, <laughs> and he has the beater on the oh. <laughs> oh, I thought there was no. Uh, I'm not in the kitchen appliances. <laughs> um, that's fair. So Bro, gross. etiquette. Yeah, listen to that. So imagine your wife is. Mm-hmm. making a pie or something right and she's kneading out the dough and stuff right and somehow you you cause her to mess up right and she accidentally makes too much dough now mm-hmm. she has too much dough right and you're like hmm well i have a solution let me get you this this and this now you can make okay. empanadas you've somehow destroyed the recipe but then saved the night by giving her other options. Do, does that make sense? I, I feel like it doesn't I, make sense. It makes sense tired, but... that you're hungry. <laughs> yeah. no. I actually am a little hungry. You, you like... <laughs> a little... But, but what I'm saying is you mm-hmm. made a boo-boo mm-hmm. and you tried to correct it and at the end, that correction ended mm. up helping. Uh, uh, all right. I, I, I think I got... A way to figure okay. this out. Okay. How much would you guys, percentile wise, was it based in Halloween Town versus Christmas? How much of the movie? I don't know that that's fair, because for I think over half the movie they decorate Halloween Town in Christmas decor. Christmas decor that looks like Halloween. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. But. Okay. Let me let me pose you this pose. question. There are people who <laughs> there are people who have started taking to like a black and white Christmas. They do like a black Christmas tree, mm. they do like black okay. ornaments and like white ornaments and would you say that they're not celebrating Christmas because it's black and white as opposed to Red, green, and white, and Maybe all that. Just gone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But well, I guess that kind of answers him. They are celebrating Christmas, so I, I guess yeah, they say are technically. Mm. Mm. Okay, all right. Well, okay, what about this though? What about this? Okay, I'm, I'm a piggyback on what Guns just said. They spend maybe sixty percent of the time in Halloween Town. Mm-hmm. They spend right. a couple scenes in Christmas Town, but they're bringing okay. Christmas stuff into Halloween Town. They're not 
spending right. a whole lot of time in Christmas Town or city, whatever. Right. And then like the, I would say maybe ten percent of the time. So that leaves the rest, but thirty percent of the time in the in the world, the real world, giving out presents or whatever. Mm-hmm. And even in that world, it's Christmas Day, but that's where the whole traps and the snakes and all these things are popping up because Halloween related stuff is being gifted out. So it still makes you think Halloween, okay. not necessarily Christmas. Yes. Yeah. Oh, oh. Who's the big bad boss? Oh. Halloween monster. Oh. Boom. oh. Lawyered. Lawyered. Is it a lawyered? Okay. <laughs> lawyered. <laughs> okay, okay. So because a monster is the big bad boss, that makes it not a Christmas episode. It's a Halloween dude. The next big thing. Supposedly. Yeah. He's the... Okay, okay, okay. Bag. So yeah. so he's trying to destroy... He's trying to destroy Christmas in a way by trying mm-hmm. to kill Santa Claus. Because he's trying to make it into and they have Halloween to go- for Christmas. Right. And so they have to go and save Christmas by saving mm. Santa Claus. And at the end, that's exactly what they do. They save Christmas. Mm. I don't know. I feel like there's a lot... Like like BB Older said, there's a lot of, a lot of things <laughs> Halloween related... <laughs> Okay, okay. Here, here you go. Have you ever been gifted, or have you ever gifted somebody something that you thought, okay, they're probably gonna love this, but then they get it, they're like, oh, thanks. Every year. Every year. I Every give year. you guys something, and you're like, ugh, ugh. I don't wear an extra large no. underwear. I wear extra, extra, extra large. You guys just okay, don't like well, it. Okay, well there you, you go. Know, why, why, why do you keep getting wrong? <laughs> Oh, I know. Okay. <laughs> All right. But that's basically what happens. Jack Skellington thinks he's going to, oh, these people are going to love these gifts. And then they end up not liking them. He's like, oh, why not? What's wrong? But in that scenario, let's say, are you, what what scenario is this when we gift this to somebody? Like a birthday or, or is it Christmas? Yeah. Well, Any. specifically Christmas. It's a gift. It's a good sure, shirt. Let's say Christmas. Because... The gifts that he's doing are based around Halloween, though. Okay. Mm. And the gifts that we do, they don't, they're not, you know what I mean? They don't have a theme. Okay, so it's not like Christmas gifts. It's not a, here's a Christmas ball or here's a snow globe. It's not like that. It's not Christmas related, is what you're saying. Yeah, because you guys are getting bags of ramen (laughs) in Okay, okay. But with that being said, if I were to give you, say, for example, a Google Nest or a TV or something. That's not Christmas mm. related either. That's just generic. That's you can use that any time of the mm. year if you wanted to. So your point is because his gifts are not Christmas related, they're more Halloween, I guess, related. Not more. They, they don't count as Christmas they gifts. Are Halloween related? Because that's what he knows. That's that's what he thinks would make people happy. But still comes around like you're kind of agreeing with us there. He's gifting Halloween stuff, like it is Halloween related. There's no way around that part. Okay, but okay, <laughs> okay. Here, uh-huh. here's here's a question then. I gifted you, and, and I think your your sister in law on your wife's side also gifted you a Stretch yeah. Armstrong. Yeah, that's a kid's toy. Am I? Nice are you toy. trying to say that? <laughs> <laughs> no, nice it's toy. a kid's toy. Are you trying to say that that's not a legitimate gift or that that gift shouldn't count as a gift because it's meant for a kid? No. Uh, it's a man's toy. Doll. Man, man's gift. No, gift. no, no, no. no. Be- it, it shouldn't count as a gift towards you because it's a kid's gift? Like, the, or like, I, I, if, if you're saying like, okay, well, it's it's a kid's related gift, so it, it can't be a, an adult's mm. Christmas gift. Nostalgia. Because... Okay, but the difference what you're trying to say is because on Christmas Day, it doesn't have to be a Christmas related gift. It can be anything. But when that is specifically right. being gift, the gift that is being given is specifically a Halloween theme. It's, it's Halloween themed. Kind of, because I, I think like the snakes were wearing like Christmas hats. They were wearing Santa Claus hats and things of that sort. The... The I think the if I'm not mistaken, like the Jack in the Boxes that came out like as little demons were like black and white mm. Christmas decorated. I think. Right. Let's see. Shrunken head. Oh, okay, okay. So mm-hmm. here, here we go. 
mm-hmm. gave a toy duck that had right, right. sharp teeth. He gave a Christmas wreath that turned out to be bad. A pumpkin in a box. Okay, that's mm-hmm. more Halloween related, I guess. Oh, that shrunken head looks so uh, Christmassy. Let me see. Ooh, that hey. hair looks just like yeah, an elf. Yeah, the shrunken head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. And a scary teddy, which I guess is like a teddy bear, scary but it's scary. Teddy. It's the boogie boogie um, I guess. Boogie. But, okay. All of these things came in Christmas boxes and or were in the Christmas okay. stockings. And okay. It's not like they were deliberately Halloween mm. related. He was giving them out as gifts, thinking that this was normal. Oh, there's a big red snake with black stripes, but it's not really Christmas themed. He's eating it. Yeah. Christmas yeah. <laughs> but, but it's also not Halloween yeah, themed deliberately. Yeah. It's a okay, snake. I think I'm about to help you out there, Kay. I'm going to help you out with this, uh, with, with one of your arguments, just because I, I have been known to give Christmas gifts in a very specific wrapping where it's not, not uh-huh. Christmas themed, it's more BB uh-huh. themed, where I won't be bothered to go to Walgreens and pick up some wrapping paper. I will grab some newspaper, wrap it up. Mm-hmm. Ch- 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 if you call it wrapping, just bend uh-huh. here, fold here, tape there. It looks like the Frankenstein of gifts. And Arm yeah, has received my probably my best masterpiece. I wrapped it up like a bag and tied it. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I guess those would traditionally wouldn't be called Christmas gifts wrapping, but I wrapped it on Christmas mm-hmm. for Christmas. For Christmas. Yeah. Okay, I guess I, I can I can give you that a little. But I'll, I'll help you out there, buddy. Just, just that's a tad bit. Uh-huh. But, 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 but it's not like right. you gave him Halloween themed Christmas present. No, I did not. So, is, uh, so are you trying to say that it has to be a Christmas themed gift to be Christmas gift? No. Is that what you're no, trying to I'm say? I'm saying non Halloween, like a shrunken head or snakes that eat crap. <laughs> Okay, but okay, let's let's play it from the other side. If it's Halloween day, October 31st, mm. uh-huh. you're not going to see me right. with a Christmas tree up. You're not going to see lights on my roof. You're not, no, your wife doesn't uh, count. She to, starts I, decorating I like no, 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 March. no, 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 not, not my wife. <laughs> there are people was... who do a Christmas tree year round. They call it, I think, like a holiday tree. They'll decorate it for, and, and it's not just like a couple people. There's a lot of people who do this apparently. <laughs> They'll decorate it for like Mardi Gras, oh, and they'll do it for like Thanksgiving. Yes, and they'll do flashing. it for Halloween, Woo! and they'll do it f- for beads. No, but they cover it in like beads and things of that sort. Wow, it's a and like yeah, like they do it like they just—it's a year-round holiday. I think tree. they're just lazy. They don't want to take down the tree, put it in a box. I think it's more lazy to redecorate it every month. Hmm. It's more lazy to redecorate. I, it, I mean, it would be more lazy hmm. to not put it up. Okay, I didn't, I didn't think about it like that, but I, I guess you're right. I guess you're right about that. I don't think that's a very common practice. It might be more common than what I think it is, because I actually do know somebody who does that. Uh-huh. But, <laughs> what the fuck? but I've personally never heard of that. <laughs> but um, yeah, I don't think it's as common as you're trying to make it. So like fifty percent of the country. No, 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 no. Not no I'm nowhere near that. But I'm saying like there sure. are people who do it. <sighs> Just because it's less common doesn't mean that you can just <laughs> say, nah, that doesn't okay. count. All right. Well, how about this then? How about this? It is okay. October. And this is a question for the both of you. Uh-huh. October. Okay. Okay. You're watching Halloween movies. You're watching horror movies. You're watching all that good stuff. Are you going to watch Nightmare Before Christmas? Is it on the list yes. for October? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Right now, we're, we're at the end of November while we're recording this. Is it still on the list? Do you watch A Nightmare Before Christmas? No. Yeah. I don't. If it hasn't been played over and over mm. again. Okay. Because yeah, I I'll think in, in my home in October, we watched it maybe three times. Maybe four times because the kids actually liked uh, it. So we played it a few extra. Okay. But say for if I watched it, I'll probably watch it once in October and I'll probably watch it once mm, in December. But not November. Okay. No turkey. No. Time. Okay. I'm trying. I'm just. I'm asking because I'm trying to see if it's in that in between. Yeah, yeah. You know, like it's that middle ground where it can be both. Maybe 
Well, now it's up yeah. to you because I'm a no and Kay's a yes. <laughs> okay, and December. You said yes, Kay. You would watch it. And Okay, what about yep. you, Gens? Mm-hmm. You no. wouldn't watch it. In my book, that's a Halloween movie. Hmm. Now, be honest. Be honest now. No. <laughs> <laughs> look at huh? the, look at look at my eyes. <laughs> Tell me. Oh look, uh, Nicholas Holt. This is Lex Luthor. Uh huh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. So I'll probably watch it in December again. Uh huh. Okay. I probably would. Mm-hmm. I. I <laughs> well, I'm be- hey, we keep it under here. <laughs> we keep- uh, yeah, we do. See, I, I I see it like the Corpse Bride, basically. Okay. That's based around like a snowy time, December. I'm guessing she did, uh-huh. but I see it as a Halloween movie. I do too. That one's undisputable. Halloween. Yeah, yeah, but that there's nothing to signify that they're trying to do Christmas around that time. But I'm just saying it's based. I'm I'm guessing because of the snow and all that. It's based. I'm saying December. Because that's the month where it snows. Or it could also be close to January, closer to February, closer to spring. Because once the ice thaws out, once the snow thaws out, it's spring. And the spring is a time of love or whatever. It's probably in February. It's a Valentine's movie. That's what it is. It's a, it's a yeah. Valentine's movie. There you go. See? <laughs> there you go. It's about love. Oh, my God. Ah, Nightmare Before Christmas. Okay. Back on track. Back on track. <laughs> it's. It's uh, interchangeable, dude. I, mm, okay. I don't know, I, man. I don't think is so. Is it interchangeable? I don't know. I don't think so. I do think that you can watch it in October. Maybe a little less in November, but pick it back into December. Yeah, sure. Interchangeable? I don't... You haven't okay. convinced me. You haven't convinced... I think it's still primarily no. a Halloween movie. Okay, okay. They're mm-hmm. in Halloween town, right? That's your big well, argument, right? Not there. just that, but like it's Halloween themed all throughout the whole film. Mm-hmm. Okay, but it's also Christmas themed because the the entire plot of the movie, the majority of it is let's get ready for Christmas, let's make toys for Christmas, let's decorate mm-hmm. for Christmas. What holiday are they celebrating? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> what ho- what holiday are they Easter's. celebrating? They talk or about trying Easter. to celebrate. Yeah. They did. But then he says, no, 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 that's not the right one. What holiday are they Sandy celebrating Claus? in Halloween town? Yeah, Claus. Sandy Claus okay, okay, belongs okay. to. Now, who <laughs> specifically is the, the person who says that? Jack. Who, who Jack, is Jack the king of what? Halloween. So that means he he cannot celebrate anything else other than Halloween? Well, they technically no. couldn't because they that's all they knew. Their world, their door. That's their That's world. all they know. Right, right, right. And so they're trying to bring in other, I guess you could say, other okay, cultures. Okay, yeah, yeah, they could do that. But they're doing it in their own spin, their own Halloween spin. Right, right, right. Kind of like how we do. So other people celebrate on the 25th. We celebrate on the 24th, late at night, once it turns 20 to the 25th, mm-hmm. technically. We've been doing it before the before midnight on That's the 24th. We brown. That's because we brown. Isn't that, <laughs> isn't that right? Right, right. So mm-hmm. other cultures, isn't that our own yeah. spin? But it's the exact same thing, just a different half a day yeah. difference. Okay, but they're trying to celebrate the exact same thing, but with their own difference. Hmm. No, because their difference is one hundred percent different than Christmas theme. If anything, our difference is only like six to eight hours. Okay. Literally. Okay, time. let's say. Literally, time is. How, how many of days of the? How, how many days of the year does Santa Claus work? Oh, 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 oh. All year round. What he said. No, how many? How many days does he does he, he delivers? Deliver? Once, one, one night per year. Okay, now let's say he wants to take a, a couple hmm. days vacation, right? It's summertime. It's the August, mm-hmm. right? It's hot. He wants to go to the beach. Can he go on vacation no. because it's summer, or is he? N- no. He's not allowed to Nobody go on wants vacation. Nobody to see that in the phone. No. That, <laughs> okay, but he has his own personal hot tub. Let's say that, but he has to keep them elves in check. 
make, make sure to, to keep working and making them. So sales. he's he's is he allowed to celebrate because it's summer? Is he allowed to relax because it's no. summer? I, I guess he could, but he still lives in Christmas Town. Right, right, right. But is he allowed to go somewhere else and say go to the beach or person he has his own personal beach or a hot tub or something? He's not allowed to relax because it, he lives in Christmas Town. He's he's the king of Christmas. Okay, but. but He's not allowed to celebrate because... No, no, no. no. Hold on. Because, because we don't know if there is a beach in that world, in that door. Because, again, in that door, it's just Christmas and Christmas only everywhere. If there was a beach, it's probably still Christmas on the beach. Okay, okay. Lawyered. (laughs) How do I drop this thing? Okay, okay. okay. (laughs) No, but would would he be able to want to relax? If he wanted to have a staycation uh-huh. in the middle uh-huh. of August during summer, summer vacation, summer break, mm-hmm. how, how is this making your? Or point? let's say he wanted to chill out with the Easter Bunny in but April. Is he not allowed to chill out? I don't out think with- so. They're not supposed to go through each other's doors. Their their own multiverse over there. They're, they're not supposed to be doing that. that. Okay, that, but but that, is he? Uh, hold up, hold up. Santa Claus. If you want to make that point, Santa Claus delivers to everybody in Christmas Town. Yeah, but either way, but okay. in the real world, Jack Skellington only deals with Halloween. Uh huh. So, who's to say that Santa Claus don't know people because he delivers to everybody? Okay, okay. I think I, I think I get what you're saying because we're we're gonna jump in off your case talking about like Santa in our world, and then I'm talking about Santa in the movie world because in that world. Let's go back to what you're saying, Guns. In Halloween Town, Halloween is that mm-hmm. one day a year, and then they prepare for the next Halloween the rest of the year. There are no other holidays. There's only 365 days left till next Halloween. One can ha- only assume it is the same in all these doors. So in Christmas Town, there is no which, Halloween. There is no Valentine's Day. There is nothing but Christmas in that world. Which brings me back to mm-hmm. my point with Santa Claus. <laughs> Every day, that's what he does. Okay. Get back to work. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay. So what you're saying is, if he wants to take a vacay, so if Santa wants saying, to take a vacay, it's still going to be Christmas themed. Uh huh. Wherever he goes, because technically they're not supposed to go through those okay. doors. Okay. H- hold, hold up. Hold up. Hold so, up. babe, mm-hmm. I just left the Nicola the Jack Skellington. Mm-hmm. It's the Halloween or the Christmas? Dilorecio. Oh hell no! Oh hell no! Oh, there you go. go. Que, que oh, el, el que tiene el traje. Oh, como el de la novia. De Halloween. Con su novia que tiene go. los stitches. Ah yeah. Los... Oh yeah. The but ask her what, what the movie is. Is it Halloween or if it's Christmas? So she said in Christmas. Tu opinión, is the Halloween <laughs> or is the Christmas? Huh? Halloween. <laughs> no, she's already she she already I, said she said yeah, her, I she watched it. watch it's it right Christmas. Now. Because ask her, ask her. Oh, boom. what? She just they're did dead. A good point. They're dead. They're dead. They're dead. They're dead. Uh, uh, Not all of them are dead. Right. Jack Skellington right. is dead. Guns breaking the fourth wall over there. <laughs> I know, right? Jack Skellington is dead. I, ask her if she wants to watch dead. the movie right now. Okay, esa película. <laughs> ¿En cuál mes lo miras? ¿Octubre o diciembre? ¿No diciembre? ¿En diciembre? ¿Sí o no? no. Oh. <laughs> oh, he's bringing out honey oh, buns. Honey buns. <sighs> honey buns. Honey buns. Uh, no I was going to see I was going to see if she was there. No se antoja mirar no en diciembre. <laughs> <laughs> okay, can you translate for us? Lawyered. For the guns. It's not lawyered, because what? she said originally, yeah, it's a Christmas movie. I know no, what movie it is. It's no, a Christmas she movie. They didn't know what you were talking about. That's why I said the skeleton with the suit. And then she's like, oh. I, I think that everything that has been said is, is probably the end all there. Like, I think everything's out. Any last statements? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, just because one doesn't understand another's culture doesn't necessarily mean that it can't be celebrated and or try to mix in mm-hmm. be mixed in 
I think that is unjust, and I feel like, like just because you, <laughs> no, 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 just because you give a gift that was not mm -hmm. received well during Christmas doesn't make it any mm -hmm. less of a Christmas gift. Okay. Just make sure you have that receipt right there. <laughs> yeah. And that's exactly what they did. He took back all of the gifts that they didn't like and gave mm -hmm. regular Christmas mm -hmm. gifts. That was handed out by Santa Claus, right? Which told them. Yeah. Right, so right, right. it took the Christmas guy to fix Christmas. It also took the Halloween guy to save Christmas. Yeah. He, he did have to fight the trick-or-treat bag, so. The game's winner is... All right. If you guys have anything to say, fans, you let us know. <laughs> Write a post. Let us know. Subscribe. Email mm -hmm. us. They can email me at agentkfsfiles.com. They can email you all the one eyed months pics oh. at <laughs> guns at the sfiles.com. <laughs> and you can email me. Tell me how I am right and that this is not a Christmas movie. It is definitely 100% a Halloween movie. Bogus Bird at TheSFiles.com. Please also visit us at www.TheSFiles.com where you can listen to all of our prior episodes. We have Master Debating just like we did today. We have games, trivia, read bros lips. We have articles. We talk Marvel. We talk DC. We talk trash. We talk movies, TV, some anime, some video game stuff. We just have a good time here and uh, we give each other a hard time. If you like what you're hearing, you can follow us on social media. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Threads. And if you're looking for the Uncut episodes, you want to hear me say, Sucker. As many times as I did today, check us out on Patreon. If you're on the go, guns. You can find us on <laughs> Spotify, Amazon Music, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, which will be discontinued, unfortunately, and taken over by YouTube Music iHeartRadio, Amazon Music, and Sweet Sweet Pandora. And while you're there, also check out our other podcast that we do, Bro Etiquette, where we cover the bro code, see if it still sounds to the modern day. <laughs> Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Sure. This is Bogus Bird sending out. This is Guns Deucing Out. This is Agent K saying see you later. Definitely a Halloween movie, not a Christmas movie. Okay. Halloween. Christmas.